Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier. If you're a regular to the channel, you'll know I love it when I have an opportunity to review a new piece of gear for you. I recently did a review of a truly one-of-a-kind joystick, the Sublight Dynamic 6 Degree of Freedom Stick. That link is up for you right now, but today I have something also unique and very straightforward, which is panel number one from Verpal. Verpal is a Belarusian controller manufacturer who entered the market in 2016 and has regularly released new products very well suited for flight and space flight markets. I've also done many reviews in the past in this segment of MFDs and panel solutions such as Game Glass, Stream Decks, the Blackhawk controllers, and others that worked well but I didn't actually do a video for. I'm obsessed with being able to put what I want, where I want, configured the way I want. And so should you. Flexibility requires that the software is robust and beefy, which is great news as the more current versions of the Verpal software suite really let you explore your creativity. It's confusing until you get used to it, but it is complete. But I plan to do a video configuration guide for both Panel 1 and the CM2 throttle in the very near future. I will discuss the design first. They've decided to use the exact same form factor as the CM2 throttle, which was the right choice for the following reasons. All mounting solutions that work well with the throttle will now also work with this panel. The removable rubber feet are overbuilt and super grippy, meaning that combined with the weight of the unit, it won't slide anywhere on the table. Being exactly the same size means that they look awesome when placed together or perfectly symmetrical when placed on opposite sides. And because the original design of the CM2 throttle was solid, that means we can expect this new panel to be built the same, with the same durability and last a lifetime. The button switches and lights match perfectly, allowing you to expand with the aid of the included auxiliary cable. So, great looks, great software, great construction, and many, many new buttons to satisfy your needs. I'm gonna run down what bindings you get with it and then wrap up this short overview. It's important to follow along as many of the buttons work not quite as you would expect them. So, T1 and T2 are red covered emergency switches. With the red cover pushed firmly down, each triggers a binding in the on state. When you lift the cover, that binding turns off, and this can be used as an arming indicator. The third state here is the momentary action of engaging the dead man switch, perfect for eject or jettison type functions. T3 and T4 are mounted directly below and they work as on off switches or can toggle between two bindings such as right or left selector. Each switch has two bindings associated with it. T5 through T10 are two-way dead man switches. E1, E2, and E3 are rotary with a push. Turning left is a push button, turning right is a push button, and pushing down is a button. These are not analog encoders. They activate like buttons, meaning you could bind them to throttle up and throttle down and then throttle reset, rather than a throttle axis. A1 and A2, however, are analog encoders, ranging from 0 to 100 with a bump at 50%. B1 to B12 are super pretty momentary buttons with RGB illumination that can be individually configured in the software. The clear caps are removable, so you can customize the logos and text within the buttons. The electrical connection can be done with one of the three included wires, a standard USB, a short auxiliary cable, and a long auxiliary cable. The aux connector lets you daisy chain this panel to one of the other so equipped Verpal devices. These are the CM2 throttle, the CM2 gimbal, and now panel one. So I feel that sums up all I want to say about this product. It's quite straightforward. It's pretty expensive, but it's overbuilt and of a very high quality, both internally and externally. It's super pretty and very nice to look at, both internally and externally. So parting thoughts? If it looks like it would answer your controller needs or add to your personal setup, I can vouch for this as it's the real deal. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. I love playing with new gear, so please suggest any that you might like to see in the future. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.